What's up, Overwatchers? Welcome back to UGC League. To oh, I'm sorry, we sent back. <laughs> Should I start over? I guess we've already live. What's up, everyone? <laughs> What's up, Overwatchers? Welcome back to UGC League. Tonight, we've got the Season 5 NA Gold Playoffs between Bunny Blasters and Is Pepsi OK? We've got a fantastic set of competitive Overwatch lined up for you tonight. I'm the Rapture, and joining me on this cast tonight is my good friend, JJ Skywalker. JJ, how you doing? Pretty good, man. I go, I'm hyped. Uh, finally, up to the end to see who are the Season 5 champs. Absolutely, yeah. We've got two teams that I would say are very evenly matched here, uh, both having similar records and even losses throughout the season, and now we're going to see the culmination of the NA Gold season here between these two teams. Of course, they are battling here for a prize pool, not just for, you know, just for bragging rights or anything here. They've got a battle net balance on the line for first place of equaling $320 and for second place $160. So there's definitely a lot on the line here tonight for these two teams. Yeah, no doubt, especially with all the skins being announced recently. That battle.net balance is going to go <laughs> towards a lot. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely a lot you can be buying with those credits. And maybe you just want to stock up on loot boxes. But either way, these teams will be getting started off here on Lijong Tower. going to be starting in the control center portion of the map. We have here both teams getting off with some interesting compositions. Both running both the Junkrat, both the McCree, both Reinhardt, Zarya. In fact, almost essentially, I, they are exactly exactly identical lineups for both these teams. And both teams now breaking out of each gate. Let's see which team gets the first kill as they both move over towards the white room. And immediately, Benji and Haplo are already on top of each other. In fact, changing positions and swinging away is Benji. Let's see who gets his first blood. Of course, Haplo and Benji are going to be looking to throw down that, those fire strikes to build Earth Shatter as soon as possible and break those shields to make sure that they're viable. Now the fray going on to the going into the middle of the point here, charging both Reinhards. There they go, and Haplo does go down first. We're gonna have a capture going down for the red side here. It looks like they may be actually be able to do it, especially with the help of reses from both teams. Benji getting back onto it. HPD also trying to glass. The Zarya's going out. Here comes a Junkrat ult immediately, just a super quick ultimate, and it catches Son of God. And that's gonna be a full cap here for the red team. They're gonna be looking pretty see pretty. Even though they're not only not only are they getting the capture, they're also getting a really solid uh, stagger here on the opposing team. Yeah, really neat stagger work coming out from uh, Is Pepsi OK. They literally just moved around. They noticed their position was not very good, just constantly contesting wide and moving around really helped them out. Even though both of them lost their Reinhardts initially, the workout between the Junkrat really seemed to help out with that reposition and it helped out for them. Oh, and Bunny Blaster we're trying to push out there with the Lucio barrier, but it just does not work. Is Pepsi OK is all over them at their gate at that choke point, and they get absolutely nullified. Not only that, Is Pepsi OK still holding on to four of their ultimates, and of course Bunny Blasters will still have theirs as well, but they are still down 40% and counting on this point. Yeah, agreed. I mean, they're being as aggressive as possible and instantly using their ultimates. And here comes the Junkrat ultimate going straight in. Didn't work out too well. Oh, the fly! He gets four with it! A huge kill there from King, sneaking his way by on into the back line there of Bunny Blasters and connecting on four. That's a huge turnaround. And Junkrat is certainly a playmaker type of character that you can rely on to make those big plays and get a bunch of kills and just continually swing the momentum of this game into your team's favor. And not only that, even make up for a lack of teamwork if necessary, but right now is Pepsi OK is just firing on all cylinders right now working together to keep this choke point as soon as po as, as long as possible. And Earth Shatter and Junkrat kills Rubik, a nice headshot on the Son of God. HPD is going to get a couple, or at least one there. And now it looks like Bunny Blasters might be able to break out, but they're not getting as many kills as they probably want. Either way, is Pepsi okay? Does back up, realizing that they need a reset, but is it too late? I'm not sure if they'll be able to get back safe and sound. King, though, getting a nice kill on the Son of God. That's going to stop a little bit of the momentum here. Haplo's still alive. Nice healing. He's going to get in. He's down below 100. Does get knocked down by that Junkrat. And looks like the rest of Is Pepsi OK is going to be warded off of the point. So Bunny Blast is just in the nick of time, capturing the point here at 99% for Is Pepsi OK. And now they'll be able to hold on to it for just a little while longer. That was a little bit scary going for uh, uh, Bunny Blasters. It was beautiful technique coming out from Pepsi, trying to go for the sneaky Earth Shatter. It just didn't work out there. Luckily for them, they are still at 99%, so they have to be careful here. Especially here comes with King. Yeah, the Junkrat all coming at their way. Again with the flank, he's looking for Mercy. Oh, he just barely gets Mercy down, but he also got some kill, uh, Son of God with the kill. 
And that's going to be just a great steamroll and snowball for the rest of his Pepsi OK following up on that kill. Everything is going wirely and haywire here, and it's going to result in a completion and a capture, and it should be the point here for his Pepsi OK, unless Happel can get onto the point. Or Benji can't, no, Benji can't do it, so that will be a completion very swiftly here for his Pepsi OK. Yeah, we are seeing a bit different people coming out on both teams, really. When I, I, I didn't really get to get, see uh, Pepsi's roster initially, but especially for Bunny Blasters, they seem to be switching up roles here a bit. So it, it's a little bit strange seeing maybe what type of plans they're uh, trying to do. But in that initial point, uh, it seems a little scary. Pepsi is definitely a lot more aggressive than Bunny Blasters when it comes to the plans they want to do, as well as the ultimates that they're initiating with. So... They need to do a little bit of a change, I think. Yeah, Bunny Blasters had definitely had a hard time with that choke point. Didn't really change up their composition, but this map is certainly going to force that. Of course, you're going to see a huge dive switch here for Bunny Blasters and for his Pepsi OK. Farah, of course, loves these really open, wide open areas here and gets a nice boop onto I Am Root. And that's going to start things off, and his Pepsi OK is going to go in on that. In fact, the rest of Bunny Blasters are going to essentially fall back here, except the Far Mercy, which is taking a considerable amount of damage. Purple's getting into their face, trying to keep them off so they can get this first completion, which is huge, of course, in King of the Hill, getting that first capture. And is Pepsi okay? Sitting comfortably now on the point, just warding away the west of the blue team. Now there's a big jump in from the tanks on Bunny Blasters. They're going to get a kill from the help of Son of God, but it's an even trade. King continuing to rain down fire and then gets onto the point, trying to clean, uh, clean up Yuri, but uh, yeah, but can't do it. And now going to take a couple of damage. Purple getting a kill there with the help of King and getting it onto Yuh. And that's going to be a fully chaotic fight on this point both teams are scrambling for kills here but most of them in fact all of them going in the way of is pepsi okay oh much gang thug is going to get a kill though as king was popping off that ultimate and we are going to get a pause but that is a completion there and possibly with oh actually it was is pepsi okay it was the one with the dc but they were actually able to one uh, the ones were able to get this completion and capture on the point so even though they got the dc they're still <laughs> They're still chilling for now. Muffin's Rage now in back in this, so we should be able to re get into this game for now. Yeah, I mean, uh, looking at it initially, Bunny Blasters, their their initial reposition, just not aggressively going at first and just wait, allow themselves to dive. Looked like it worked to start off with. They got the initial picks, but as the momentum went through, Pepsi just took that advantage and uh, took that advantage away from them and just capped the point as best they could. I, I thought it wouldn't go well for Pepsi, but it did. Now with this a little bit of a momentum swing here, both teams getting just a slight break, but I don't think it's really going to change much here for either team. Is Pepsi OK continually getting these kills without much trouble? Yeah, it looks like he's probably going to get picked off here from this fair and the Tracer, all of them. Yep, and in fact, Rube does get the kill. And that's a really easy team fight there with not a lot of coordination coming out from Bunny Blasters, unfortunately. And not only that, but they don't even have ultimate advantage either. It's Pepsi OK sitting four to, now 4-4. Four to four. But what they really need is just some kind of combination of ults to get into at the point. But they're going to be sticking to this dive comp, of course, just because of the geometry of this map. But is it going to be enough to actually get this and swing it back into their favor? Time will tell. But so far, time is in the favor. Or is this Pepsi okay? They've already hit 50% here. Here comes a Diva Bomb out from HBD. That's going to connect with absolutely nobody because everyone was ready or in cover already. King, another nice mid-air shot onto Overwatch Gang. And then another one on HBD as he was demacked. Rue getting a kill onto IM. Rue. You're just, yeah, just trying to stay alive as long as possible, trying to boost that Winston as he dives right in. And in fact, that might actually help things swing in the favor of Bunny Blasters. A barrage coming out from Owatch Gang. That's going to get a kill, at least onto the mech, and then help the rest of his team snowball onto those next kills. Roop trying to get things back in their favor, but they're by themselves and is going to eventually get taken out. And that should be just enough, and is in fact en enough to get this capture here from Bunny Blasters. Yeah, so finally, uh, honestly, it looked like that uh, two-pronged attack going from Bunny Blasters really helped out. Son of God going on the left side, the rest of the team going on the right. Son of God just picked out everybody, d dumbing down the amount of HP that they have, especially in their tanky dive comp, and just allowing the rest of the team to just do their stuff. And it worked out for them, and hopefully it'll work out for them now. Oh, I was about to say, Rube's going to sticky him, and he does. Gets two, he's going to get the res, and then Son of God demacking purple, that's big. Having that mech on the field just very necessary a lot of the time, just keep the stall going onto the point. But without that, 
They're going to be without, a, you know, a major tank, but it doesn't really look like it matters. Haplo is doing a ton of work, two for the price of one on these tanks, and getting two kills. Roop also staying in the fray and getting another one. I am Root trying to sustain on the point. Thankfully, it doesn't burn the barrier to do so, and we'll have that for the next push, but they only essentially have one more opportunity here to get, uh, you know, a, a this, this, a stop this and, you know, avoid going into game two so soon. Meanwhile, is Pepsi okay? I mean, they're sitting just so comfortably on the Guardians port of this, and it seems like if Bunny Blast was kind of separating here onto this dive, trying to focus on these on this tank line here, but getting nothing, does force Haplo to pop the Primal Rage, and then also Purple throwing down that Diva Mech, and the bomb connects onto Ya. Yeah, that's a huge kill. No more res is coming out from Bunny Blasters, and that's going to be hard to sustain the rest of this fight as King gets a kill, boosted by this Valkyrie Mercy, and the rest of the team's on this con the rest of the team on the point just mostly right here king and haplo getting more kills here rube getting on and just a complete just just devastation here for is pepsi okay they're going to take the first game here on a uh, on a Luizhang tower 2-0 and now they are just one game away from being your season 5 na gold champions Play of the game. Yeah, agreed. I mean, uh, we're probably going to see some Junkrat plays here, but <laughs> overall, it just felt like Bunny Blasters aren't really prioritizing targets when they go in with those dives. I mean, you, like you said at the beginning, uh, or uh, for that last uh, fight, they just started going in randomly into the fight. They did that two pronged attack, but there was nobody in specific that they seemed to be going for. Monkey was trying to go for maybe the Mercy. Son of God was going for the Monkey because he was low HP. Farah versus Farah in the sky. It never felt like there was a uh, a team-based effort to just tackle one thing. Everything was trying to be tackled at the same time. And that seems to be the current problem that they're facing right now. Yeah, not only that, is Pepsi okay? Just uh, much more efficient at taking out the Mercy. Uh, much more efficient ultimate usage as well. So that really does add up. Especially when you're going to a fight, you can take the Mercy out. That's almost essentially at this point kind of, or a lot of the time, can secure you the way the win because you're avoiding that 7v6 situation that comes from a res or even 8v6 when you, you get the Valkyrie. So great job there by Is Pepsi, okay? Of course, if you are just joining us, it's the Season 5 NA Gold Finals between Is Pepsi, okay versus Bunny Blasters. A lot of a lot of Blizzard balance on the line here, and currently it is 1-0 for Is Pepsi, okay? We're going to Gibraltar to see who will come out on top. Will it be Bunny Blasters forcing into a game three, or is Pepsi OK going to walk away with a 2 0 victory? Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to find out just right now as we start up on Gibraltar. And it is going to be the colors staying the same for now. Is Pepsi OK in the red? And because of that, they'll be on the first offensive attempt here on Gibraltar. Uh, we'll see what comes up better. Uh, so far, they don't seem to be having a great advantage when it comes to the aggressiveness coming out from Pepsi, but maybe the momentum will be a little different for them, considering that so far Pepsi has had amazing ult advantage going into every single fight. And, mm -hmm. and the moment they get their ultimates, they use them. They use them to their fullest extent and the best extent that they can, I suppose, understand them or the, or the way they've practiced them. So... Who knows? Maybe uh, with this startup, they might have the difference they need, or maybe this was the warm-up match they needed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, you know, King of the Hill can go by just like that, but it definitely can serve as great warm-up. But is it too little, too late? I mean, if you give your, you know, the opposing team an entire map, there's very little wiggle room, very little margin of error for your team in the rest of the set. So, definitely a sticky situation here for Bunny Blasters, and they are on defense, so they. They have to essentially win every single fight. The offense just has to win one to push it per you know phase here, and that means is Pepsi okay? You know can really look for this poke heavy composition, and it seems like they're going for here. King and Rube, both on snipers here, both on Widowmaker and Hanzo respectively. It looks like they're going to just switch out the Hanzo. That they just want to throw down that little just a little poking there just to see if they can get a little bit of vision before they push right in. Uh, King, meanwhile, staying on the Widowmaker because that long-range hit scan working out very well on Gibraltar. Widowmaker, notoriously, this is definitely one of the maps you'll see here pretty often, both on this part of the map and then on the th uh, for a third phase there, especially that very long alleyway, that very long sightline in the last lane of the map before you get to the checkpoint. So we'll definitely see a lot of Widow Widowmaker in this, and already he's close to getting 50% of his ult, and that'll give him a little more, just more vision that they need. Meanwhile, towards the payload itself, Haplo just all over HBD and does get the kill. Purple too. And this tank line from Miss Pepsi OK is just so strong. And not only are they strong getting kills, but they're building a ton of ult charge for their supports, which means that they're going to have 
the Mercy uh, Ultimate early. They're going to have that, you know, the Zenyatta. They're going to have Transcendence. So things are working out pretty well on that front. Even though at this point, both teams are actually pretty even here on support, uh, support Ultimate. Just felt up just a little farther closer to Valkyrie as compared to Ya. Meanwhile, Son of God about to get that Pulse Bomb, but Ruben's been sitting out and is certainly looking for a double kill if he can get it just to just push this right in. Meanwhile, Purple throwing down a Diva Bomb, mostly just a zoning ult to help pushing in, this into the last part of the checkpoint, forcing the rest of the team now onto it as they just scramble for better cart discipline here, trying to stay onto it, but it is just all red on the kill feed. Is Pepsi okay? They're killing it right now. And immediately getting this first point, uh, just under five minutes remaining as they go into the second phase. And they're trying to get more and stagger the rest of the team. They stagger Yud too, so that's big. They're going to get probably, you know, at least the first quarter of this, of this second phase here uh, handedly. Yeah, it almost felt like uh, Bunny Blasters was going to be able to stop him at the beginning, but no such thing as the moment they just pushed through that initial defense, it seems like they're going to try their best to snowball it straight through. Right now, uh, King just looking for those shots as best they can. He hasn't even used Widow Vision yet. Yeah, he hasn't. He's sitting on that, just waiting until they, until they have to start like looking for players hiding in cover, possibly even for the third phase, just to see who's coming out of spawn. But either way, it doesn't even seem like it, it, it's, it's essentially a non-factor right now. The team is just collapsing and getting kills over and over and over without much effort. Uh, HPD, though, nice kill onto Muffin's Rage, but of course that's going to pop the res and felt up using the Belkyrie to do so. Here comes another ultimate from Purple. He gets two. Nice. Getting both I Am Root and Son of God, so no Transcendence. That means that's going to be... You know, Rubus going to be able to throw down a Pulse Bomb. Hapo's going to get a ton of damage. And now King is on the Genji. That's huge now because... If they're able to just build Transcendence faster and get the Blade faster bef before I and Root can get Transcendence, that's going to be a lot of kills coming out from the it's Pepsi okay. You know, Bunny Blasters has to be careful here. Ults are being used on their end, but not at the same time, I suppose. It's all being used individually. And it's not working for them very well. Yeah, again, five minutes on the clock and counting. For I am, or is it, is Pepsi okay? They certainly don't want to be I am Pepsi, but... <laughs> yeah. They have pushed up so far now. Again, trying to stagger. They're trying to stagger this diva. If they can get HPD out of mech before he gets back. Oh, he does actually D mech him, even though he was past the spawn door. That's big. HPD now in baby diva. Might want to think about just uh, jumping off the map here to get that mech back, but doesn't do so. Oh, dear, Gang Thug does get a kill into Haplo. He's over there just a little bit there. But of course, that really just means that the payload's going to be able to push up farther without any contention here. In fact, uh, Bunny Blasters haven't touched it to finally do get towards it as the rest of Ice Pepsi okay falling back just a little bit here for better positioning and you're gonna look for another another diva bomb coming out from purple and does actually get a kill on son of god I thought it was just gonna be a zoning all but in fact does get the kill and that's gonna just immediately cue the rest of the team to dive in here comes the counter ult to the diva bomb and that's two for HBD that's going to stop both at Felt Up and Root from coming out into the fight. Probably going to kill into OW Gang Thug. HBD will get the kill. That's going to stop this offensive push for just now. So finally, Bunny Blasters putting the brakes on this payload. But just for the moment, there's still about four minutes remaining on this offensive push. Yeah, that ult saved them from D.Va. Honestly, it looked like yeah. they were going to push straight through if that ult didn't do anything. They, they need to be very careful here. Every single kill that Pepsi gets almost feels like they're going to break straight through the armor. That is their defense right now. Son of God and Benji both sitting up on this high ground trying to get and build some Ultima charge here. But that's going to just uh, cue Haplo to jump right in there. The Valkyrie too to get the boost going. That extra momentum. Both Mercy's flying around with the butterfly wings. Trying to get some kills here. Trying to support the team. Muffin's Rage de-mecking HBD. Again, that's big. Once that mech is out, they can just go right in and try and clean up some kills and make a better usage of that room that they created for themselves. And that's actually going to force it. I'm... Interesting trends coming out from I Am Root, not really responding to anything in particular, so it might have been a waste there. Purple getting one on I Am Root, so then, yeah, he didn't have the trend. The transcendence was too early, so he can't even survive that. And both teams trading, but this payload is going nowhere. HPD getting some really clutch kills, though, as is Son of God. Nice pulse bomb onto Purple, who is D-mecked by Son of God as well. Each team just trading more. This is a lot, a lot more of a sustainable and stable defense coming out from Bunny Blast, now that they have the closer spawns to work with. And I am Pepsi may have to find a different way to get in here, but they do have King on the blade. Haplo is waiting with that primal rage. Rube close to another pulse bomb. Muffin's rage with the trans. Very yeah, essentially has it here. So with no ultimates waiting except HPD's uh, bomb and then Gang now just getting that blade. The defense is kind of a little little low here on ultimates, but Felt Up has to burn the res and then oh Gang Thug goes down as a sort of god. 
two big ultimate uh, potential and kill potential characters there, and that's going to just cue this blade coming out here from King. Charlo from kills does get Iron Root, not able to get much more, and Benji actually cleans up kill King before he gets anything out on the rest of that blade there. The payload is going to move up, thanks to Rube, with the nice pulse on, and then the kill combo with the headshot onto HBD, and Halflo half using the primal rate to keep the rest of the Bunny Blasters in spawn. He can only do it for so long, though, but that gives him just several more meters, and now the trans coming out from Muffin's Rage. Great response, because Gang's going through down that blade. And that's going to essentially nullify that blade entirely. No kills coming out from that. They have the result uh, reset there. And Purple with another bomb isn't going to anybody. Does get Iron Root just continually getting kills from these bombs as Purple. There's just a ton of value coming out from them. Muffin's Rage gets killed. Nice double res there from Yark, keeping his team back in the fray. And of course, they have to post spawn, so they still have that to work with here. But of course, as many people are on this payload, that's going to just decrease, uh, increase the amount of time that the respawners have to respawn. It's going to be more than 10 seconds. So. It is up to the offense just continue to have these kills flowing here if they can. King, a nice kill, a nice dash onto I Am Root. HPD still in mech though. They have to kill that Mercy to get him out of mech. And a Reaper now coming out from Gang Thug using the close quarters to take that to his advantage. Doesn't need a character that has high mobility because everything is collapsing onto the point itself. A double mech bomb from both of them and neither getting it. Oh, actually, HPD gained the kill on purple before he's able to get back into his mech there. His bomb would just slightly just a millisecond after purples, but this kill feed going majority right here. Gang Thug getting a kill, but that's going to be half low with the Primal Rage killing Yup. Purple kills Gang Thug. Trans again from Muffin Rage, just really quick support ultimates from Is Pepsi OK? And this payload is so close from being pushed into that final point here. The full four seconds has been whittled away, but Bunny Blasters cannot stop it from going in ultimately. But 23 seconds left on the clock, so Bunny Blasters. I mean, their defense was looking a little shaky at the beginning of this map and even towards the second phase, but on the third phase, they really shaped up, really took advantage of those close spawns, changed up their comp just a little bit here, got great ultimate usage, and they whittled down the four to five minutes that Is Pepsi OK had built up to under 30 seconds. I mean, I have to give Is Pepsi OK and you some props, man. I mean, take some breaths there. <laughs> that was somewhere around a three-minute engagement. And as even at the end, with the payload being so close to uh, Bunny Blaster's spawn, the respawns meant nothing. They staggered played that so well, constantly having the respawns up, using them so tactically, so perfectly that... Almost every single one that came up, the the 30 seconds after were already there by the time they needed it. And the attack just kept going and going uh, almost unendingly. I, I thought that was going to go straight into overtime uh, at that point. Either way, I mean, most teams might say you might as well just give up the engagement at that point if it's taking so long. But not if, if it is Pepsi okay. They kept going over and over again and eventually whittled down. A team that had respawn advantage. It's something that I have. I don't think I've ever seen. Yeah, that was just one. Of, that was such a long fight too, but it was really sustained by great ultimates by the supports of his Pepsi. Okay, especially Muffins Rage with those trends, and that, uh, particularly that one transcendence that completely nullified Gang Thung's blade, which would have certainly uh, could have probably pushed this thing in overtime had he gotten kills off of that blade, but that was completely stopped there by the Zenyatta ultimate. So great job there by Muffins Rage being able to bu uh, build that quickly. And now it is up to, is Pepsi okay? Now, if they want to take this entire gold finals here for season five, all they have to do is stop Bunny Blasters from completing the map. Yeah, so this is definitely, the I believe they're up to the task, but it's certainly not going to be an easy one. Let's see how they do on this defensive uh, hold here. They're holding to essentially the exact same composition, though King is now on the 76, which on defense, that's tried and true for Gibraltar, using just the staying back with the, the back line uh, and using the long range hit scan to just deal damage and build up ultimate quickly. Benji getting a kill into Haplo. Haplo, for some reason, just diving like super far in for no really good reason there. And trying to build up and build up some ultimate and trying to salvage it is Rube, who's distracting and the majority of Bunny Blasters. They're not pushing the payload. Finally, they do. Finally, get on it. The rest of the defense, though, is Pepsi okay? They're just chilling in the back here, waiting for this payload to go through under the tunnel here. But the payload is still not moving because King getting a nice kill. The Diva is all over it. They're scrambling a little bit here. But Haplo is on the point as well. King, another kill on Benji, forcing the res out from Ya. And this payload still isn't going anywhere. This is a really good job here by Is Pepsi okay? Just eat away time, even if they're not going to win the fight. And they know that this might go towards the third phase in the map. It's good to just eat away as much time as they possibly can here. So right now they're playing this very well. Even though Gangfo getting some kills on Whittlebaker, again, we're seeing this first 
phase pick Widowmaker working out for both teams. And that payload is going to start moving, just inching ever so slowly because every time they get a little bit of foot room here, someone from Is Pepsi OK dives and jumps onto the payload. But it looks like that's finally come to a stop. Bunny Blasters have gotten this payload pretty clean and free from the rest of Is Pepsi OK, who've been pushed back to the second phase. And Benji actually de mecking purple. That's really big. And even a Pulse Bomb from Son of God! Nice! He gets the kill and also killing Muffin's Rage just beforehand. So wow, Bunny Blaster is pretty easily moving this payload in. Yeah, I mean, uh, being uh, like pushing it all the way to uh, Phase 2 so early on, I suppose the aggressive push from Pepsi backfired on them as their backline was not able to deal with Son of God and Benji being in the backline just messing with them with Monkey Rage and Son of God just having that Tracer Bomb in the background and just the general annoyance of Tracer helped them out a lot. They just pushed straight through that ending without any form of contestion and it looks like they're doing the same aggressive pattern that Pepsi did at the beginning. Only difference is right now Benji did go down all the way at the end so it's going to be a little troubling, I imagine. Yeah, and, and again, this payload coming to a halt here. But uh, is Pepsi okay just doing as much as they can to keep at least one or two bodies in the payload is all, at all times? And HPD losing that mech, which means they're going to lose their stalling on the payload. And that gives Haplo an opportunity to pop that Primal Rage and push the entirety of that front line, mid line, and back line of Bunny Blasters all the way to the first phase of the, of the map here. So this payload is actually going to start inching backwards in a few more. There you go, right there. And, and again, really good positioning here and just f capitalizing on is uh, Bunny Blasters potentially uh, overextending a little too much here in the second phase. Haplo pushing up onto this Widowmaker, trying to build a little more ultimate here, which is very low. Uh, felt up sitting on an ult. King and Purple also. Nice right click there on Son of God. That's going to force the res out from Ya. And that's going to give him a little more opportunity to push up again and just continue to put up the pressure because they don't have to work, worry about the res for a little while longer. But because they push up so far, Bunny Blasters now decide, oh, we're going to push up on you. But there's King waiting with the visor for that exact moment them all to come in into that vacuum but isn't able to get anything because benji's all over him and smothers him and gets rid of that visor son of god getting called to muffins rage and this payload still despite the fight going you know trading evenly this payload is going nowhere uh, bunny blast is getting some good kills but they're not able to convert that to actual payload movement uh odd but it's an odd mecha bomb there that actually landed on top of the ship so not <laughs> nobody i'm not sure what he was aiming for there but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't connect. This payload again moving, but it's just it's just trying to get back to where it was early, and it again stops in this little lane here, just really going nowhere. Just a really amazing cart discipline from Is Pepsi Okay? I mean, they're not letting it go anywhere. They're eating up so much time. We're now below the two minute and forty second mark here. I am root nice going to purple. HPD getting onto Haplo, and not going to push up farther onto these squishies in the back line. Mercy and seventy six. They have to just. <laughs> completely run away and felt love does get killed but king is going to get away with by the skin of his teeth and that payload looks like it might just be able to get into this checkpoint for anyone gets their rube though dropping the pulse bomb getting in has to blink all the way out unable to do much more pressure after that and this looks like it will be able to get in until haplo popping the primal getting onto the payload here comes purple also getting onto it rube is back onto it as well as is muffin we have a, a self-destruct coming out and hpd's connect connect onto king which is big, but of course felt up, just gets the rest, so it doesn't even matter. That ult's getting completely nullified. Gang Thug, though, there's no Transcendence waiting for him. He's gonna get a blade, but he gets taken out because Muffin doesn't even need the Transcendence. He's just gonna headshot Gang Thug and get the kill. Son of God, though, he's not done. Gets the ult. Here comes another Diva Bomb from Purple. Is he gonna connect? Nope, that bubble there from ha uh, from Haplo was waiting, or from Benji, I'm sorry, was waiting and ready. And it looks like they should be able to get this payload, but Purple's like, nah, son. Feltup's like, nah, son. And King even getting a kill, too. So I, every time it looks like Bunny Blaster is going to have an opportunity to push this payload even farther, is Pepsi okay? Is right there waiting. Yeah, it's just difficult for them. Right now, they're able to take out the priority targets. Mercy, Soldier, uh, Zenyatta. But the moment it gets to the tanks, they're just not able to push it. They, they, they just can't delete them from being able to just mess around with the point. The shield comes up. Diva shield comes up. They're helping out each other as much as they can between Haplo and Purple. Just mitigating the amount of damage being dealt to each other. And by that time, the hitscan's already come back, dealing the damage that they need to do to destroy these guys. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, he just catches him off guard, runs in with a double kill. Yeah, absolutely beautiful pulse bomb there by Rube, getting high value off of that. And now 50 seconds remain for Bunny Blasters. This is a, one of their last, if not their last, chances to push this to a Game 3, or at least push it to the rest of this map here, let alone a Game 3. Uh, they just, again, unable, they're, they're stumped right now on this right before the second checkpoint. 
not changing up their composition. They're still going for this. Maybe maybe they'd want to change it up here to give themselves an opportunity to kill this this long range hit scan of King. They're just situated all on top of the ship here, and that means that big uh, body bastards are going to push up through the right side, and with this barrier just collapse onto the top of the ship here, but no kills come out so far. But they have pushed. Uh, uh, um, is Pepsi okay? Far off the ship, but some of that getting killed. That's going to pop out this Valkyrie and the res from felt up here. Comes a diva bomb. Harper getting a kill onto Ya. Here's the responding diva bomb. Is going to get anything? Doesn't look like he's going to get much. King though. Primal. Everything is getting popped here from Is Pepsi okay? They want it and they want it all. They're throwing the kitchen sink and then some to try and complete this map and finish off the rest of Bunny Blast. It looks like they have. Overtime is ticking away. And the trend center, just to be sure, that's going to be it. GG's from both of these teams. Is Pepsi okay? Is going to be your season five NA gold champions taking it 2 0 over Bunny Blasters. Play of the game. Congratulations, it's Pepsi going. Okay, uh, is Pepsi okay? It seemed like Bunny Blasters were finally trying getting something up in there into the end, but it just wasn't enough. I mean, pushing up until the end, they tried to do their initial final strategy going up to shuttle. But is Pepsi okay backed all the way up? They knew they had time on their side. They had the payload on their side, so they didn't need to rush anything. Doing that made them overextend. They just slowly whittled them away, and uh, there went their chance to push it to phase three and then even to a next map. Yeah, and that'll be... A nice, cool three hundred twenty dollars in battle net balance there, for is Pepsi, Pepsi okay? They definitely earned it. Really solid, just not only team core teamwork, not really relying on like big plays, but but just like solid coordination, really good ultimate usage. Uh, timing was perfect. Uh, positioning was perfect. The zoning was perfect. The cart discipline was just absolutely fantastic. There was such a uh, such a huge contrast between Bunny Blast's ability to stay on the payload and his Pepsi OK's ability to stay on the payload. Uh, either way, this is such an amazing set of Overwatch tonight of UGC League. Congratulations to his Pepsi OK for taking it. Yeah, agreed. I mean, and, and thank you so much, Rapture, for joining me for season yeah. five. You know, having yeah. a buddy that, or a fellow caster to be able to cast these great games coming up uh, for these teams. I mean, and there's so much more to come. Season five might be done, but you know that season six is coming by. So anybody that wants to join up, please uh, keep an eye out or at UGC League on Twitter or on the Discord. Uh, uh, for UGC League. We're probably going to be coming back in January. We don't want to do anything in December. Allow you guys to have the December weekend so that you uh, uh, or the December holiday so you can just enjoy the, the Christmas holiday and, and then going past that, of course, Season 6 is going to be coming in and if you feel like you can take on Is Pepsi Okay? Bunny Blasters for that top first, top second position and that beautiful Battle.net money, please go ahead and sign up and bring your friends along, bring your teams along and uh, uh, it'd be neat to see you guys coming uh, uh, coming up. Uh, yeah, that absolutely. Being, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Thank you all for tuning in. We really appreciate all of you sticking with us this entire season. Great games from both Bunny Blasters and Is Pepsi Okay? Thank you, JG, for awesome casting with you, of course. And, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to follow UGC League. We'd love to see you all for Season 6. Thank you all for tuning in tonight, and we'll see you all next time.